Good evening everybody. My name is Divit and I am going to talk about fishes today. I have had fishes as pets all my life. My father has an aquarium of catfish and soon I wanted my own. I made so much of a fuss that he got me my own and so many fishes like goldfish, guppies, moilies and fighter fish. Did you know fishes are cold blooded that means they can change their body temperature according to their surroundings. Fishes breathe through their gills. Lungfish has both lungs and gills. It can stay out of water for several years. Fishes have a pair of fins instead of arms and legs. 70% of the oceans are full of fishes and there are about 30,000 different species of fishes and they are very important for the marine ecosystem. Now, seahorses are the only fish that move, move, swim upright and they can move both their eyes separately. That fish plays dead when danger is near. Fishes are social beings and cooperative. Giant moray eels and red sea coral groupers hunt together. Groupers ask the eels to join them in a, on a hunt in a sacred fish sign language. Fishes have great memory. A group of researchers fed their fish while playing a, a particular song before releasing them into the wild. Five months later, the fish returned when the song played at sea. Fishes are smart and can learn. Archer fish shoot right amount of water to knock down insects flying above the water surface. They learn this skill by watching and copying other archer fish. Fishes are excellent communicators. Although fish cannot speak, they communicate through sounds, scents, electrical pulses and motions. Knife fish and elephant fishes change frequency to avoid jamming each other's signals. Fishes have great sensory abilities. Later line row of scales that did can find out anything that moving in the water and is coming next to them. That's why when we are trying to catch fish using a net, they know it and swim away. Fishes play an important role in the marine ecosystem. Algae is eaten by tiny fish, tiny fish is eaten by small fish, small fish is eaten by sharks. Now, illegal fishing has made some sharks endangered. Now, let's remove sharks from the marine ecosystem. Population of small fish will increase as there is no one to eat them. And it will eat up all the tiny fish. Without anybody to clean the algae, it will form a layer on the water and obstruct sunlight. And Without sunlight, all the corals will die in the ocean due to lack of sunlight and the marine ecosystem will collapse. I worry that future generations will only see fishes in aquariums or worse in museums. I want future generations to see them in their natural habitat. Pollution 80% of pollution comes from land. Waste decays slowly in many years, uses oxygen to break down and low level of oxygen also lead to the death of fishes. Oil spills also add to the death of fishes. Chemicals, fertilizers, pesticides and insecticides that get washed away in the river end up in the ocean and also kills fishes. Even toxic industrial waste and sewage also goes into the rivers and ends up in the ocean also adds for the thing for death of fish. Now, even when ships also disturb fishes, ships also disturb the fishes communications and they are very harmful. Microplastics are everywhere. Deep oceans, Arctic snow, Antarctic ice, like everywhere. Now, if, if you ask me what should we do, I would say put a ban to illegal fishing use sustainable products, treatment of sewage water, avoiding many ships in the ocean. Lastly, I want to add, fishes are simple creatures with little ability to think or feel and, and fishes are small and sensitive and intelligent animals and their welfare must become our priority. Thank you.